Well, I'd like to give you all a very warm welcome to Bell Hospice, because that's where we are. I'm sorry some of you had difficulty finding the, the entrance. And we're very grateful to Dr. Natasha, who founded Bell Hospice, um, the staff of Bell Hospice, um, Leonida is here, and she's going to be helping us open up the office. And also for Zoran Perkovic, who will be here in other weeks. Um, they are the staff that are helping us have this alpha course in this building. We thought that it would be a good place because it's, it's not a church. And what we're talking about is not about church. It, yes, it's true we're talking about the basics of Christian faith, but we're not talking about specifically church. So it's not a church-based talk or series. I want to also thank uh, Slobodan, who has volunteered, and I, I didn't have to coerce him. He really did volunteer to translate. Želimo vam toplu dobrodošlicu u Bel Hospice, jer tu se upravo nalazimo i ovde počinjemo naš kurs. Želim da se pre svega zahvalim ljudima iz Bel Hospisa koji su nam to omogućili i da kažem nešto o tome zašto nismo izabrali crkvu, nego upravo jednom ovako mesto, zato što ćemo pričati o veri i nije potrebno da budemo vezani za crkvu. My name is John Field and I come from England. Um, with my wife Angela, we've been living here for about four years. Can I just... Mm -hmm. uh, because I will forget. Ja se zovem John i ovde sa mojom suprugom Angelom sam već četiri godine. Initially, I was working on an EU-funded project. Radio sam probitno na jednom projektu koji je finansirala Europska unija that was dealing with infrastructure, transport infrastructure in the Balkans. Koji se bavio putnom infrastrukturom na Balkanu. I was then team leader for a project that was covering 12 countries to the east of Serbia. Posto toga sam bio team leader projekta koji je obuhvatao, koji se odvijao na prostoru 12 zemalja na istoku Evrope. And this was developing a road safety manual for the, for the region. I proizvodili smo vodiče za bezbednost u saobraćaju. Firstly, I want to give a little word of introduction about Alpha. Volio bih pre svega da vam dam kratak uvod u Alfu. You know, many people call themselves Christians. Mnogi ljudi sebe nazivaju hrišćanima. Many live in countries that call themselves Christian. Mnogi žive u zemljama koje se smatraju hrišćanske. But what is the impact on the daily lives of people in such countries? Ali kakav je uticaj na svakodnevni život ljudi u tim zemljama? What is the impact on the society's ethics? Kakav je impact, kakav je uticaj u tim zemljama na etiku, hrišćanstvo na etiku? And what are the impacts of so-called Christian countries on the rest of the world? I kakav je uticaj hrišćanstva na ostatak sveta? I think that uh, recent events in Serbia have shown that there's a lot of rethinking being done about ethics. Mislim da poslednji, poslednji događaj u Srbiji nas navode da, na, na to da ponovo promislimo o etici. I would suggest that if there's no positive impact that Christians are making in the world, it's because they are not following Jesus Christ. Ako bismo rekli da ne postoji pozitivan uticaj hrišćanstva u svetu, to je zbog toga što ne pratimo Hristov put. People don't really know and don't live in practice the Christian life. Ljudi zaista ne znaju ili u praksi ne žive načinom koji je učio, na koji je učio ovaj, Hristo. People think that Christianity therefore is irrelevant. Ljudi misle da je hrišćanstvo, da hrišćanstvo nije relevantno. It's not relevant to their everyday decisions, their everyday living. Nije relevantno za svakodnevnu donošenje svakodnevnih odluka i za svakodnevni život. 
Alpha is a course that seeks to explain what it is to really be a Christian. Uh, Alpha je kurs koji će vam pomoći da shvatite šta zapravo znači biti hrišćani. It seeks to explore and explain the basics of the Christian faith. Uh, <clears throat> Alpha istražuje i ispituje osnove hrišćanske vere. It's not specific to one type of Christian. Nije specifično, nije vezano za određeni tip, odnosno vrstu uh, hrišćanstva. It's not um, particularly Protestant, although it was started in a Protestant church. Nije protestantska, da kažem, iako je, za, iako je počela da se uh, primenjuje u protestantskoj crkvi. But it is used, the program is used in Catholic churches and Orthodox churches in many countries around the world. Već se ovaj program koristi u katoličkim i u, uh, orto, i u pravoslavnim crkvama širom sveta. In fact, I went to an, an Alpha Orthodox conference in Sofia. Bio sam uh, na Alpha konferenciji u Sofiji. And there's a picture on, of me on the um, front cover of the Alpha International newspaper. I postoji slika sa mnom na Alf, uh, Alf, u novinama, sorry, Alpha newspaper. Yeah, Alpha International newspaper. Uh, I to je međunarodnoj Alpha, međunarodnim Alpha novinama. You can tell which one is me because I'm the one without the long grey beard. Možete me lako prepoznati zato što sam sa velikom bradom. We were surrounded by Orthodox priests from Bulgaria and Romania. Aha, oni su bili svi sa bradama, on je bio bez brade. Hvala. So it was great to be able to have an opportunity to mix with people who go to different Christian traditions but where we can come together to understand the basis of our Christian faith. Uh, I bilo je zaista zadovoljstvo susresti se sa različitim uh, vrstama hrišćanskih hrišćana uh, i zajedno sa njima razgovarati o osnovama hrišćanske vere. It's not a course that you pass or fail. Mm, to nije kurs koji ćete proći ili pasti. And at the end we will be giving you manuals so that you can see what the the course is going to be about and you can follow in the manual. Uh, daćemo vam i određeni vodič koji ćete moći da pratite i koji će vam pomoći da uh, prođete kroz uh, ovaj kurs. You, you should look upon it more as an opportunity to explore the questions that are really bugging you and you've never dared ask anyone. Uh, možete ovo da ovaj kurs da shvatite kao priliku da uh, razmotrite sva ona pitanja koja su vas mučila i de, možda koja niste imali priliku ranije da, da ovaj, razmotrite. Alpha can help you get to know God better. Uh, Alpha vam može pomoći da uh, ostvarite bolji kontakt sa Bogom. And really good news is that that's what God wants to. I dobra vest je što Bog to želi. We will discuss a different topic each week. Svake nedelje ćemo uh, razgovarati o različitim temama. And we will have one day away on a Saturday. It will be the 9th of March. Uh, I'm sorry, can you the 9th of March. We will have one day away. Uh, jedan dan ćemo preskočiti u martu. When we... Sorry. Yes. Probably not here. Uh, jedan dan ćemo provesti van Beograda, van ovog so, mesta gde so se inače nalazi. And we will discuss the Holy Spirit, what he does, who he is, and how we can experience the Holy Spirit. I diskutovat ćemo o tome šta je to Sveti Duh i kako možemo da dospimo do njega. When we have finished the talk, there will be a, a break, break for you. Kada završimo razgovor, onda ćemo napraviti pauzu. And then we will have a discussion time. I to će biti period kada ćemo moći da diskutujemo o toj temi. And that's when you can ask whatever you like. Tada možete da pitate sve što vas interesuje. And believe me, I've been in alpha uh, courses where people have asked many strange comments and things. <clears throat> I verujte mi, bio sam na, uh, alf, na kursevima na kojima su veoma različita pitanja postavljena. But we don't say, oh, that's how could you possibly believe that or that's a strange thing to say because that's where they are at we must respect each other i ne postavljamo pitanja uh, i mislim pitanja kao što su kako možete da verujete u to 
ne postavljamo, jer poštujemo svako stanovište. Znači, svačije mišljenje je jednako važno. The title of the talk today is Is there more to life than this? Naslov današnjeg predavanja je da li postoji nešto više od ovog života. And if we look at our lives, we sometimes think is this all I can look forward to for the next however many years? I kada pogledamo na život, pitamo se da li postoji nešto više od ovoga što možemo da imamo u narednih koliko godina. Is Christianity really relevant in the 21st century? Da li je hrišćanstvo zaista relevantno u 21. veku? I'm going to shock you because I think that Christianity is about as relevant as having a new gadget like my tablet or a trendy set of clothes. Možda ću vas šokirati ako kažem da je hrišćanstvo relevantno koliko imati neki nov gadžet ili neku modernu obuću i odeću. Gadgets may be useful for a time, but they only wear out or they are superseded by the next much more slinky gadget. Gadgeti su dobri jedno vreme, ali onda posle određenog vremena budu zamenjeni nekim drugim gadgetima. Yes, and clothes, well, if you're ladies, you probably have to change your outfit at least once a year because there's a new trend, a new fashion. I što se tiče odeće, pogotovo ako ste dame, Morate menjati odeću svakih, recimo, godinu dana, jer ona postaje stara da biste ostali u trendu. And in the sense that I am defining Christianity, that's very similar how Christianity can be, as irrelevant as a passing fad or fashion. Can you repeat that? A passing fad or fashion. It can be as irrelevant as a passing... Može bude irrelevantno kao nešto što je prolazno, kao što je moda, recimo. It may be good for a while, but then maybe some new philosophy comes along, which is better. Može biti dobro u neko vreme, ali posle toga dolaze neke nove filozofije koje mogu da zamene to što hrišćanstvo uči. So why do I say it's irrelevant? I zašto ja onda kažem da je irrelevantno? Because Christianity is a religion organized by men and women. Zato što je hrišćanstvo religija koju organizuju muškarac i žena. And if you look at history, it's hard to sometimes see the connection between what Jesus Christ taught and the way in which the church, the Christianity that is being lived, is lived out. I kada pogledamo u istoriju, možemo da nađemo određeni diskontinuitet između onoga što je Isus učio i načina na koji se crkva ponašala i učenja na koje ona u stvari izvodila. A friend recently said to me that he was really angry that the church did not follow what Jesus taught. Prijatelj mi je nedavno rekao da je veoma ljut zato što crkva nije nije prezentovala učenje koje je Isus zaista ovaj učio. Especially as Jesus last words were to his disciples to go and make disciples teaching them to obey everything I have taught you. Pogotovo što je Isus svojim sledbenicima rekao da treba da uče druge i da drugima prenose ono što je on njima preneo. Sometimes some of the words that we use about Christianity could be words like judgmental. Ponekad reči koje se koriste da bi se opisalo hrišćanstvo, mogu da zvuče kao osuđujuće. Narrow-minded. Usko. Oppressive. Tiransko. Controlling. Kontrolišuće. Divisive. Nesložno, razjedinjeno. Sexist. Seksističko. Exclusive. Neinkluzivno. Confrontational. Suprotstavljeno. And most damning of all, irrelevant in a materialistic world. Nerelevantno u materialnom svetu. In fact, in the UK, the Church of England, which is the state church, has been in steady decline. U stvari, čak i u Engleskoj, crkva je u određenom smislu opadanju. They've been losing so many people 
that some people have speculated that even God has left the Church of England. Počeli su da gube toliko ljudi da se spekulisalo da je čak i Bog napustio crkvu engleske. There was an article in Private Eye, which is a British satirical magazine. Postojao je i jedan članak u satiričnom časopisu koji se zove Privatni detektiv. And it was entitled God to leave Church of England. Naziv tog članka je bio Bog napušta anglikansku crkvu, crkvu engleske. And this is what it said. Okay. The mm -hmm. following the example set by leading former Anglicans. It's okay. You can read. Before, okay. Yeah. God has indicated that he too is to leave the Church of England. Friends of God believe the issue of women priests to have been behind the Almighty's sudden decision to convert to Rome. According to sources close to God, he's been unhappy for some time with the direction the Anglican Church has been taking and has now finally had enough. A Church of England spokesman said, Losing God is a bit of a blow, but it's just something we're going to have to learn to live with. Sledeći, um, <clears throat> u tom članku je napisano sledeći primer bivših vodećih anglikanaca, Bog je izjavio da će on takođe napustiti crkvu engleske. Prijatelji Boga veruju da je pitanje žena sveštenika uzrok iznenadne odluke svemogućeg da se prebaci u rimokatolike. Prema izvorima bliskim Bogu, on nije bio zadovoljan već neko vreme sa pravcem razvoja anglikanske crkve i sada mu je konačno dosta svega. Pod parol crkve Engleske je rekao, odlazak Boga nas je pomalo potresao, ali to je nešto sa čime ćemo morati da naučimo da živimo. I am not sure what would be written about the churches in Serbia, but I leave that to your imagination. Ne znam šta bi pisalo za... Srpsku pravoslavnu crkvu, ali to ostavljam vašoj mašti. But I'm not going to talk about religion of Christianity. Ali neću vam pričati o religiji hrećanstva. I'm going to talk about the relationship we can have with Jesus Christ. Već vam pričati o odnosu koji možemo da imamo sa Isusom. A relationship we need to understand and consider before we reject God odnosu koji moramo da razmotrimo pre nego što odlučimo da napustimo Boga. The first is that a relationship with Jesus gives us direction in a lost world. Uh, odnos sa Isusom nam daje pravac uh, u ovom svetu koji je konfuzan. Andrew and I lived in Sri Lanka for a while. Angela i ja smo živeli u Sri Lanki and in a guidebook it suggests that if you want directions you should ask as many people as possible. I u vodiču je pisalo ukoliko želite da stignete negde bolje bi bilo pitate što više ljudi koje možete sretniti usput. So you can get a consensus of opinion about where you it is the direction you want to go. I na taj način ćete uh, imati konsenzus mišljenja gde treba da idete. So if the majority says go that way, they may be right. Dakle, ako većina kaže da treba idete u određenom pravcu, oni su možda u pravu. I once stopped and asked someone the, the way to a particular village. Teo sam da odem u jedno određeno selo. And the direction I was pointed in was the one direction I knew was wrong. I pravac na koji su me uputili je bio pravac za koji sam znao da je pogrešan. There were two other directions in opposite directions, but and I wanted to know which one was right. Bila su i druga dva pravca u druga dva puta u suprotnom pravcu, ali nisam znao, morao sam da budem siguran koja od ta dva treba da kojim putem treba da krenem. So I think the guidebook was right, but the, unfortunately there was only one person to ask. Dakle Taj vodič je davao ispravne, da kažemo, i, uh, savete, ali moja nevolja je bila u tome što sam sreo samo jednog, jednu osobu da pitam. Drugom prilikom sam bio u misiji uh, Azijske razvojne banke. And they were, the idea of the mission was to see how well they had used the money they had received. Uh, ideja misije je bila da, uh, ispit, da ispitam kako se koristi novac 
koji treba da prime. At least that was what I wanted to know. They wanted only to tell us how much more they wanted new money for a new project. Ali njih je interesovalo samo kako da dobiju novi novac od novog projekta. So we actually had different agendas. Imali smo praktično različite ciljeve. They tried to distract us by giving us a really good time, showing us places, whining and dining us. Uh, bilo nam je zaista nezgodno zato što su probali da nas ometu u našim, našim, ovaj, našem poslu, tako što su nas izvodili u restorane, na hranu, piće i tako. And one of the places they took us to was to see a huge jade Buddha. I jedno mesto na koje su nas odveli bio je ogroman uh, budistički spomenik. Jade, if you know, is a green stone, yes? To je uh, zeleni kamen. Semi-precious, yes. And this was a lump 300 tons of it. Uh, I bio je težak 3000 tona. Yeah, and they had carved it into the shape of a Buddha. I prekriven je mm, oblikovan je u, u, u obliku stvari Bude. Uh, on the back there were some brown imperfections as you sometimes get with jade. Uh, pozadi su bili neke brown nesavršenosti. And the guide who was dis- telling us about it said that's the Chinese character for way. Uh, I way. čovjek koji nas je vodio je rekao da mm. su to kineske yeah. kineski znak za put. Yes. Yeah. Um, I of course didn't know Chinese and so I asked the, the young lady who was accompanying me whether people Chinese people believe that Buddha was the way. <clears throat> ja zapravo nisam znao uh, kineski jezik i pitao sam uh, damu koja uh, nas je vodila da li uh, kinezi zaista veruju da je Buda pravi put. Uh, she said some old people practiced going to see pray to Buddha but most young people didn't. I ona mi je odgovorila da neki stari ljudi i dalje praktikuju da se mole Budi, ali mladi ne toliko. I had a, a Chinese English New Testament with me. Imao sam kod sebe a, kinesko engleski Novi Zavet. And I showed her the verse in John's Gospel chapter 14 verse 6. I pokazao sam odeljak a, a, svetu, s, Jovan, sorry, 14 verse 6. Čet, 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 uh, Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth and I am the life. Isus je rekao ja sam put, ja sam istina i ja sam život. Now I'm aware in Slavic languages um, the and a don't exist. Uh, u, u, <laughs> u srpskom a... jeziku i opšte u ovaj uh, we, we call it the definite and indefinite da, article. Da, nemamo određeni i neodređeni član. Uh, I once had somebody translating my work into uh, a, a Slavic language and she knew that there were V's and A's had to be there somewhere. Uh, jednom je neko prevodio ono što sam ovaj, pisao na uh, srpski jezik i uh, znao je da to, taj određeni i neodređeni član mora ne, na neki način da, 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 se, da bude preveden, da, da, da se stavi. Uh, the resulting text looked as though a blunderbust a gun had fired Bullets of these and A's scattered all over. I cannot translate this. <laughs> <laughs> the text had A's and these added to it, but scattered all over, not in the right places. Uh, text je bio glomazan, ne znam kako da... Imao je članove. Ali su bili razbacani svuda. Randomly. Po slučaju, nasumice, da. But in English it's quite clear when Jesus says I am the way, there is no other way. There is just one way. Ali Jesus. u engleskom je to veoma jasno. Kada Isus kaže ja sam put, to znači da je on jedini put. Ne postoji drugi put. Pinch Charles spoke of his belief that for all the advantages of science there remains deep in the soul a persistent and unconscious anxiety that something is missing. 
Prince Charles je o svojoj veri rekao, pored svih prednosti koje nam nudi nauka, duboko u duši nam ostaje nesvestan i uporan strah da nešto nedostaje. The French mathematician, philosopher, scientist Blaise Pascal said there is a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every man which cannot be filled by any created thing but only by God, the Creator, made known through Jesus. Francuski filozof i naučnik Blaise Pascal je rekao Bog je taj koji oblikuje prostor u našim srcima koji ne može biti ispunjen ni jednom stvari već samo samim Bogom, tvorcem koga smo upoznali preko Isusa. Angela Jolly also commented that she was looking for something else. Angelina Jolly being a famous person you'd think had everything but she was always looking out for something else. Uh, Angelina Jolly poznata uh, glumica i rekla da uh, uvek je da je bila prilično nestabilna i da uvek traži nešto drugo. Carl Jung said the central neurosis of our time is emptiness. Carl Jung je rekao da je središnja neuroza našeg vremena praznina. Jesus said I am the bread of life. Isus je rekao ja sam hleb života. I am the one person that can satisfy spiritual hunger. Ja sam jedina osoba koja može da zadovolji uh, glad za duhovnim. And it's a spiritual hunger that's in all our hearts. I uh, taj, ta glad je u našim srcima. Sometimes we try and fill that hunger with other things, with sport, with hobbies, with relationships. Ponekad tu uh, glad želimo da ispunimo i tu prazninu želimo da ispunimo nekim drugim aktivnostima kao što je sport. And sometimes we turn to less attractive things to try and fill that void. A nekada, nekada i, ove, čak posežemo za nekim manje atraktivnim i manje u stvari poželjnim stvarima da bi ispunili tu prazninu. Jesus is the way that brings satisfaction for our spiritual hunger. Uh, Isus je put koji nam, po, koj, kojim treba da idemo da bi ispunili uh, tu prazninu, tu želju za duhovnošću. How do we distinguish between truth and lies? Kako možemo da razlikujemo istinu i laž? What is true truth? Šta je prava istina? Absolute truth. Apsolutna istina. As opposed to the relative truths that we claim. Ili relativna istina koju možemo da tvrdimo. We say that so much gets lost in translation. I hope not today. Yes. <laughs> Kažu da ovaj, se mnogo toga izgubi u prevodu, nadam se ne i danas. We even see films where there's a blur between truth and reality. Uh, like the Matrix series. They blur, truth and, and reality is blurred. It's, we're not sure what is true and what is real, what is not true. Mi često gledamo filmove u kojima nije jasno šta je stvarnost, a šta nije stvarnost. Kao što je recimo Matrix. Često nam te dve stvari nam se prepliču u filmovima. We get commentators on the television explaining what a politician really meant when he said something. Uh, imamo komentatore na televiziji koji često objašnjavaju i prepričavaju šta su to političari hteli da kažu. We have estate agents trying to sell properties. Imamo agente nekretninama koji pokušavaju da prodaju and they nekretnine. Say, and they say the house has many interesting and original features. I često kažu da recimo kuća koju prodaju ima uh, dosta veoma interesantnih i, interesantnih i originalnih rešenja, delova. The truth is it, it needs renovating. Istina je da ima mnogo da se renovira. There is a story about a, a Mexican bandit. Uh, jedna priča o Meksičkom banditu. And he stole money and was chased across the border from America by the Texas Rangers. Uh, ukrao je ma- uh, novac iz Amerike i onda su ga gonili teksaški rangeri. And the Rangers cornered him in a bar in Mexico. I oni su ga uh, uhvatili u jednom baru u Meksiku. Now the problem was that uh, Pepe didn't speak English and the Texas Rangers didn't speak Spanish. Problem je bio u tome što Pepe taj uh, ovaj pljačkaš 
nije znao engleski, ali oni nisu znali španski. So they asked the barkeeper to translate for them. Zato su rangeri zamolili barmena da im prevodi. Tell Pepe that if he doesn't tell us where the money is, we will kill him. Rekli su tom bartenderu, konobaru, da kaže Pepeu da mu prevede da ukoliko im ne kaže gde je sakrio novac, da će ga ubiti. Pepe said, trembling with fear, tell them it's down the well behind the 17th brick down. Pepe je drhtao od straha i odmah je rekao gde se nalazi tačno sakriven novac. The barman duly translated to the rangers in English. Barman je onda preveo to rangerima na engleski. And he said, Pepe is a very brave man. I rekao je da je Pepe veoma hrabar čovek. And you are a bunch of stinking pigs. I da ste vi gomila smrdljivih svinja. And he is not afraid to die. I da se on uopšte ne plaši da umre. The truth got lost in the translation. Istina se izgubila u prevodu. And the barkeeper got a lot richer. I konobar se obogatio. But that was probably a very untrue story. Ali to je verovatno veoma neistinita priča. But what is true is some of the writings of Leo Tolstoy. Ali ono što je istina, to je pisanje Lava Nikolajevića Tolstoja. And he wrote a book about his experiences called A Confession. I on je pisao napisao knjigu koja se zove Vera. He had been brought up and baptized in the Orthodox faith. Nisam je čitao, pa je zato i ne. He had been brought up and baptized in the Orthodox faith, but abandoned it. On je bio kršten i odgojen u pravoslavnoj hrišćanskoj veri, ali je odbacio. If you want to see the full text of what he wrote, you can see me afterwards. Ako želite da čujete ceo tekst, odnosno da pogledate ceo tekst koji je on pisao, možete kasnije da me... But he got to a point in his life where all of the good living that he was living was not satisfying him. The wine, the women, the song, there was no satisfaction. Ali poenta je u tome da sve stvari u životu koje je radio nije bio zadovoljan sa njima. And he studied Buddhism and Mohammedism. I... Čitao je o budizmu i o islamskoj veri. And eventually he came back to the Christian faith that he saw lived out by some local peasants. I na kraju se vratio hrišćanskoj veri koju je u stvari video da ispovedaju lokalni seljani. Tolstoy had been looking for the truth in all the wrong places. On je tražio istinu na mnogo mesta, ali sva ta mesta su bila pogrešna. C.S. Lewis, a famous English author, said, Christianity is a statement which, if false, is of no importance, and if true, of infinite importance. The one thing it cannot be is moderately important. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis. Uh-huh. Um je rekao da on je izjavio da da hrišćanstvo ako je neistinito onda nije od kakve bitnosti, važnosti. Ali ako je istinito onda je od izuzetno velike važnosti. Jedina stvar koja ne može da bude jeste da je ono osrednje važno. Znači ono je ili nevažno ili je izuzetno važno. So the question, is it true, is Jesus said, I am the truth. Dakle, pitanje, da li je istinito? Isus je rekao, ja sam istina. Many famous scientists throughout history were believers. Mnogi veliki naučnici tokom istorije bili su veliki vernici. Profesor James Simpson, koji je izgledao da je izgledao da je izgledao da je izgledao da je izgledao. Profesor James Simpson, koji je bio doktor, hirurg. Je izgledao, profesor Simpson, od svih tih izgledao koji je izgledao, koji je izgledao da je izgledao? 
Pitali su ga jednom prilikom, profesore Simpson, od svih ovih otkrića koje ste koje ste, mislim, svih otkrića koje ste imali u životu, koje od njih vam je najznačajnije? And he said, well, the greatest discovery, greatest discovery I ever made was the day I discovered Jesus Christ. I on je odgovorio da je najveće otkriće do koga je došao u životu otkriće Isusa Hrista. When Jesus said, I am the truth, he was talking about more than a kind of intellectual truth. Kada Isus kaže da je on istina, to znači da je on mnogo više od intelektualne istine, od naučne istine. The Hebrew word for truth really was truth as experienced. Hebrejsko značenje reči istina je podrazumevalo istina kao praktično iskustvo. There's a sort of a gap between intellectual knowledge of what is true and a personal knowledge. Postoji određena razlika između intelektualnog naučnog znanja i ličnog iskustva, ličnog, lične spoznaje. So when someone says, I know Jesus is the truth, they're not talking just about being convinced of the evidence, they're talking about experiencing a relationship with the risen Jesus Christ. I kada neko kaže da je Isus istina i pravi put, to ne znači samo da je on došao do intelektualne spoznaje da je Isus pravi put, nego da je osetio istinsku vezu između sebe i Isusa Hrista. Treća tačka je život u mračnom svetu. Da li vam je neko nekada rekao treba da radite nešto u životu. Or have you said it to someone? Ili ste vi to nekome rekli? I was going to discuss or, or tell you here about a story of somebody who thought that they wanted God, God wanted them to marry me. Uh, ispričat ću vam priču o jednoj osobi uh, koja je mislila da je Bog rekao da treba da me oženi, da, me, da se uda za mene. I actually didn't share that belief. Ja nisam delio sa njom to uverenje. But she wanted to have a life before she settled down to a boring life with me. Ali je pre toga želela da ima život pre nego što se uda i provede ostatak života koji ona smatrala da će biti dosadan sa mnom. You can ask Angela if life, if she has been bored by being my wife. Možete pitati Angelu da li je, da li je, dosadno pored mene. So if her life has been boring, but don't ask her if she is bored with being my wife. That's something only I need to know. Ali nemojte pitati da li je da li da li da li sam da li je dosadno biti moja žena. Jesus brings life in a dark world. Isus donosi svetlost u mračan svet. He brings us light that we can see by donosi nam svetlost light light that we can see by da možemo da vidimo Alexander Solzhenitsyn said the line separating good and evil passes not through states nor between classes nor between political parties but right through every human heart and through all human hearts Aleksandar Solženicin je rekao da linije koje razdvajaju ljude ne prolaze ni između država, ni između gradova, nego tačno kroz srca svakog čoveka. The Christian message is good news. Hrišćanska poruka je dobra, radosna vest. Good news because it tells us that God loves us. To je dobra vest, radosna vest, zato što nam kaže da nas Bog voli. And it tells us that he sent his only son to die on the cross for us. I on je poslao svog sina da umre na krstu za nas. He loves us that much. On nas toliko voli. And I remember in an alpha group in Sri Lanka, a young man, I asked him, 
What did you learn today? I sećam se u jednoj grupi u Sri Lanki da me da sam pitao jednog mladića šta je naučio danas. And he said I learned that Jesus Christ died just for me even if I was the only one. I on je rekao da je naučio to da je Isus Hrist umro umro samo zbog njega i da bi on umro zbog njega i da je on jedini čovjek na svetu. So Jesus said I am the life. Uh, Isus kaže ja sam svetlost. There are a number of ways we can react to that statement. Na postoji mnogo načina na koje možemo da odgovorimo na i da da odgovorimo na tu izjavu. We can say yes I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm up for it. Uh, možemo da kažemo da znam tačno o čemu pričaš. I have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ and it's the most wonderful thing. Ja imam odnos sa uh, Gospodom Isusom Hristom i uh, razumem taj taj odnos i tu vezu. Others might say well I, I'm not so sure. Drugi mogu da kažu pa ja nisam baš siguran. When Paul went to Athens and he spoke to the people there about Jesus and the resurrection there were three different reactions. Kad je Paul otišao u Atinu, sorry, Athens. He went to Athens and he spoke. Da da priča da priča da širi radosnu vest o Isusu i o ovaj uskrsnuću. On je naišao na različite reakcije. Some sneered uh, neki su odmahivali. Others were convinced. A neki su bili uvereni. Uh, partly. And they said, well, I'd like to know a neverici, bit more. Da, znači neki su, neki, ni, neki nisu verovali. Ako bili su neverici, drugi su, drugi nisu bili baš. And others believed. I treći su verovali. They'd only heard once, but they knew it was for them. Uh, čuli su to samo jednom, ali odmah su znali da je to... There's no, there's no hidden agenda for Alpha. It's for you, not for us. Ne postoji skriven cilj ovog kursa, znači ovo je za vas. So that at the end you can say if you are really seeking that relationship with Jesus Christ. I na kraju ćete vi reći da li zaista tražite, da li ste u potrazi za tom vezom. Jesus is my way. Isus je moj put. Is my truth moja istina is my life i moj život may god help us to have that relationship for those who are really seeking to have it amen uh, neka nam bog pomogne da zaista nađu tu vezu svi oni koji je traže amen thank you hvala vam